So today I'm here with a group of people who are supporting Angelia Williams, who's the homeowner who's living here, as she's standing up to Wells Fargo, who's trying to evict her from her home that she was wrongfully foreclosed on. So as of now, the sheriff has gone into Angelia's house. She's inside with one of her supporters, and we'll see. We're trying to negotiate them and figure out how we can keep Angelia in her house. Hell, we won't go! Hell no, we won't go! Hell no, we won't go! So the police are not, obviously, not playing fair here, the sheriff. Um, we're trying to make sure, we got a U-Haul coming, I believe, is that right? Yes. To get the stuff, so seemingly that's resolved. What they're saying is, at the moment where anyone blocks the movers from putting the stuff in the U-Haul, then they will just take all the stuff to the dump, which is a really screwed up way to do it. Andrew, what are they telling you inside? What, what have you been told here today? Then I have to get out. That's it, basically. And this, this started with the downturn in the economy and your job? Yes. What happened? Just kind of walk us through it. Uh, well, I started trying to uh, work out something with Wells Fargo while I was employed. Uh, they weren't listening then. They are not listening now. It just seemed like, uh, I don't know, they don't care. I, I, I just can't talk about do you need strength from these people out front here? I do. I do. What do they mean to you? Well, they've, they've really helped me save my home and even for them to be here so I wouldn't be alone today. And what, what's it like to be in there telling having somebody tell you you gotta leave? It just seems... And to look at everything in the house. I know everything. Like, this is my home. I know all about this house. Everything I put in that house even to the paints on the walls. I had the house painted. Everything in the house belongs to me. I can even tell them the everything, the characteristics about the house and everything. And I've been here uh, paying large payments. Um, like I said, all the, the violations, the UCC violations that has been committed, the crimes, the dual track, and I can't even say all everything right now, my thoughts, uh, and the fraud and no one is listening. Um, it, I, I want to say, look like, I don't know, well, has Wells Fargo paid everybody off? That no one can hear that this is wrong and it's a fraud, but we still letting it go on. Even the bank had been charged, was known for fraud, and they're still operating and in business and can still do this to people. I just know of uh, too many people had to lose their homes because of this. And there's no solution for us. Where, where do we go? Where does the homeowner go? I thought it was a homeowner. They're throwing me out like I'm a renter, like I haven't been paying all these years, paying outrageous prices at that. They've been overcharged all the time. And they don't even prove to that, me that they really even own my home. I own my home. Yes. I'm sorry for you.